Well, I want to talk to you tonight not about politics and not about party. And while there are many important issues we'll hear discussed in this convention and throughout this campaign, tonight I want to talk to you from my heart about our hearts. I want to talk not about what divides us, but what holds us together as an American family. I want to talk to you tonight about that one great thing that unites us, that one great thing that brings us our greatest joy when times are good, and the deepest solace in our dark hours. Tonight, I want to talk to you about love. I want to talk to you about the deep and abiding love I have for a man I met at a dance many years ago, and the profound love I have and I know we share for this country. I want to talk to you about that love so deep, only a mother can fathom it, the love we have for our children and our children's children. And I want us to think tonight about the love we share for those Americans, our brothers and our sisters, who are going through difficult times, whose days are never easy, nights are always long, and whose work never seems done. They are here among us tonight in this hall. They are here in neighborhoods across Tampa and all across America. The parents who lie awake at night side by side, wondering how they'll be able to pay the mortgage or make the rent. The single dad who's working extra hours tonight so that his kids can buy some new clothes to go back to school, can take a school trip or play a sport, so his kids can feel, you know, just like other kids. And the working moms who love their jobs, but would like to work just a little less to spend more time with the kids. But that's just out of the question with this economy. Or how about that couple who would like to have another child, but wonder how they'll afford it? I have been all across this country, and I know a lot of you guys. <laughs> And I have seen and heard stories of how hard it is to get ahead now. You know what? I've heard your voices. They've said to me, I'm running in place and we just can't get ahead. Sometimes I think that late at night, if we were all silent for just a few moments and listened carefully, we could hear a collective sigh from the moms and dads across America who made it through another day and know that they'll make it through another one tomorrow. But in the end of that day moment, they just aren't sure how. And if you listen carefully, you'll hear the women sign a little bit more than the men. It's how it is, isn't it? It's the moms who have always had to work a little harder to make everything right. It's the moms of this nation, single, married, widowed, who really hold this country together. We're the mothers. We're the wives. We're the grandmothers, we're the big sisters, we're the little sisters, and we are the daughters. You know it's true, don't you? I love you women! <laughs> and I hear your voices. <laughs> There's my, those are my favorite fans down there. You are the ones that have to do a little bit more, and you know what it's like to work a little harder during the day to earn the respect you deserve at work. And then you come home at night and help with a book report, just because it has to be done. You know what those late night phone calls with an elderly parent are like and the long weekend drives just to see how they're doing. You know the fastest route to the local emergency room and which doctors actually answer the phone call when you call at night. By the way, I know all about that. You know what it's like to sit in that graduation ceremony and wonder how it was that so many long days turned to years that went by so quickly. You are the best of America. You. You are the hope of America. There would not be an America without you. 
Tonight, we salute you and sing your praises. I'm not sure if men really understand this, but I don't think there's a woman in America who really expects her life to be easy. In our own ways, we all know better. You know what? And that's fine. We don't want easy. But the last few years have been harder than they needed to be. It's all the little things that, Pat, the price at the pump you just can't believe, the grocery bills that just get bigger, all those things that used to be free, like school sports are now one more bill to pay. It's all the little things that pile up to become big things. And the big things, the good jobs, the chance at college, that home you want to buy, just get harder. Everything has become harder. We're too smart to know there aren't easy answers, but we're not dumb enough to accept that there aren't better answers. And that is where this boy I met at a high school dance comes in. His name is Mitt Romney, and you should really get to know him.